Uh, and so when we walked in there and realized that this room had not been, uh, had not seen the, day of, the light of day in some time, uh, we knew we were on to something. It is a treasure trove of history, hidden away for years, maybe even decades. But a curious Marion County judge cracked it wide open to discover the secrets trapped inside. Tinty Beats Brittany Bailey takes us inside this once hidden vault. The historic Marion County Courthouse holds nearly two centuries of history, but also some secrets too. I was shocked. I, I didn't. Uh, I did not expect to uh, to find anything in the room. That room is behind this vault door in what was once a little used storage room. But when Marion County Judge Warren Edwards set up an office in there, curiosity got the best of him. He tried to crack the combination. And my secretary caught me doing this and uh, said, well, you know, I, she had worked for the clerk of courts for 19 years before she started working for me. Uh, and she said, you know, there was a rumor about what that combination was. Let me see if I can get it open. And so she spun the dial, did her magic, and voila, all of a sudden the door opened up and we opened uh, this, this long sealed door to discover a vault. And when we opened it, it uh, was just full of old documents. Uh, it looked like walking into some tomb from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Walking into this once hidden vault is like walking back in time, way back. So if you come in and you look up, it just goes forever. <laughs> from floor to ceiling, this room is jam packed with history from old court documents to immigration papers, execution orders and even physical evidence. Uh, this particular drawer has a knife, a pipe and a bullet in it, which we believe are evidence from some case, but I'm not sure we'll ever be able to figure out which case they would be from. Some of these historic finds date all the way back to at least 1831. Back in the era when the courthouse looked like this, long before this new one was built in 1884. That's the joy of it, right? right. Like uh, get, getting to open something that maybe nobody that's alive right now has seen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it really is like a surprise with each drawer you pull out or each thing you open in here. There is still so much to discover inside this vault. The judge said they've really just scratched the surface. They have plenty more books just like this one to go through. And when it comes to all of the drawers in here, they've only seen inside about one dozen out of more than 1,000. Those are actually... The judge is willing to go to great heights to uncover all the secrets buried here. But sometimes it's best to call in reinforcements. Hey, Sharon, this is one that says Elias Riley versus Royal Fish. That, oh, that's my relative. I know. <laughs> OSU Marion professor Margaret Sumner and student Sharon Gatchel are more than happy to get their hands dirty digging into these decades of discoveries. And when I walked in, I was blown away, too. It's amazing. It's just a wonderful piece of hidden history that, you know, is just um, waiting, you know, for young students to get going and start having some fun with it and, you know, doing hands-on history. This is the contempt of court for the state of Ohio versus Robert McClanahan and all the Virginians that came to look for Bill Anderson in August 28, 1839. If the name Bill Anderson sounds familiar, you might be a history buff or a frequent visitor to the courthouse. A historical marker just outside details the story of Anderson, who stood trial after being accused by men from Virginia of being a runaway slave. When the judge ruled in Mr. Anderson's favor, the Virginians uh, pulled out pistols and rioted. And so there was a large riot in downtown Marion. And the judge and Mr. Anderson fled the courthouse. So some of the Quakers, they were they weren't fighting, they did not believe in fighting, so they kind of blocked the uh, Virginians from grabbing Bill, and he was taken and um, they never seen again. The goal is to unravel that mystery and more, but that's a lofty goal for this lofty place. In this vault that was once hidden for years, it will likely take years to uncover all of its stowed away secrets. Is there also a lesson here that maybe curiosity doesn't kill the cat. Curiosity <laughs> can lead to great discoveries. Well, I hope so. I don't know if I want to be the guy advising people to open random doors, uh, but, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, when you take a risk, uh, it pays off, and that, yeah, I think it did here. With photojournalist Bill Price and Marion, Brittany Bailey, 10TV News.